Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My camera just stopped recording when I was in the middle of a, uh, a video, so I'm recording it again. My camera is very old, I'm sorry. So, today we're talking about the Spanish-American War, which is often a forgotten war in American history, but it was actually probably one of the more important ones. Didn't it, of course, it wasn't a major world war, didn't it damage the U.S., it really wasn't like World War II or World War One or really even, you know, really even the Revolution in the war. But it really saw the Americans come to basically almost be seen as equals to Europe. You know, got a lot of colonies, which is pretty, pretty great, I guess. You know, of course, yeah, that ended up in <clears throat> the Philippine Rebellion, which I'll get into in another video. We're not talking about that. So, the Spanish-American War began on April 21st, 1898. How? Well, there's something called Cuban revolutionaries, and the Cubans were trying to overthrow the Spanish Empire, which used to be a really, a really thick empire filled with lots of colonies, but of course, like all empires, they decline, and, well, here we are today. Now, it wasn't just Cuba, the Philippines, Guam, there's basically islands of the Caribbean and, you know, in the Pacific were just trying to kick Spanish, like, kick Spanish, but they didn't like the Spanish anymore. Um, so, the war began April 21st, like I said. <clears throat> and also, it's another thing. Now, the Americans supported the revolutionaries, obviously, because America likes liberation. Liberation. But, um, of course, the U.S. got involved in this war because they had nothing else better to do. Uh, so they sent the USS Maine there, which was one of America's proudest ships. And basically they sent it to Havana Harbor, and they're like, you know, it wasn't really meant there for fighting. It was basically just to show the Cuban revolutionaries, hey, we're here to support you. Should we form a friendship? Come on, let's, let's go. But obviously, America being America, accused the Spanish of... Blowing up the main. Yes, the main did explode. Killing plus 200 plus servicemen. Very sad, I know. And researchers today think it was most likely a boiler explosion, but back then, you know, I don't know, how many years ago was that? Uh, 100 and. It was like 112 years ago, okay? So, 113. I don't know, I don't care. But, um,. 113 years ago, people thought it was a mine, and by the Spanish, and you, know, you can't really blame them. I think if that happened to, if that happened back then, and Americans were the way they are today, then yeah, everyone was probably a Russian. Okay, so obviously Americans wanted blood, and they made a a, uh, a tra like not travel slogan. <sighs> yeah, they're not traveling. A like campaign slogan. Uh, remember the main to hell of Spain, which if that doesn't give your adrenaline rushing with red, white, and blue, then I don't know what does. So obviously men wanted to fight because apparently the Spanish were the bad guys and we should kill all the Spanish. So America literally had pretty much every advantage over the Spanish. The Spanish knew they weren't going to win. But the Japanese talked to the Spanish and were like, hey, you should use death before dishonor. No, I'm just kidding. The Japanese didn't even care. I don't know what they were doing. Probably doing some art and trying to draw anime. I don't care. But basically the Spanish did not want to surrender because they didn't even fight and that would seem really humiliated even though the Spanish Empire was already humiliated. But they didn't want to eat. They didn't want to be humiliated even more. So America started basically just going around the Pacific and literally just saying, hey, we're here to liberate you. No, they didn't do that quite yet. Quite yet. The first major battle of the Philippine <laughs> Spanish American War was the Battle of Manila Harbor, Manila Bay. I don't know why I said harbor. Where four U.S. ships, I believe, probably wasn't four. I don't. Just U.S. ships basically came in there to the bay and saw the Spanish ships, which I'm not going to say the commander's name for the Spanish because I'm going to butcher it. But basically, the Spanish ships were like 
18th century and literally had no chance. Well, the Americans relied on, you know, boilers, so they could move their ships a lot flexible. They didn't have to use the wind. Their artillery was much better. Pretty much America wrecked the Spanish. Wrecked them. And about over 600 people were killed. So that's on the Spanish. America literally lost pretty much no one. And, yeah, that's pretty much how it was. Uh, America just sunk Spanish ships that were from the early 18th the early 19th century and 18th century, they were pretty crappy. Well, America over here had literally iron ships that, yeah, were kind of... Yeah. So, America, of course, helped the Cuban revolutionaries, you know, helped supply them and helped the Philippines. One incident, the Americans went to Guam and tried to take it over, and basically the governor there or something uh, said, you know, he did not know America and Spain were at war, so when nations kind of didn't fight each other, were at peace, they fired off a salute, but the ships at Guam had no ammo, so the Americans said, okay, I don't care, and just literally took the island without a shot being fired. So if you're wondering how Guam was taken, then yeah, that's why. Guam uh, is very peaceful. Okay, so what are the most infamous battles of the Spanish-American War, which everybody knows about, and if you don't, Theodore Roosevelt would be disappointed in you. Battle of San Juan Hill. Battle of San Juan Hill is frankly where Theodore Roosevelt became a household name, being part of the Rough Riders, this is the ads, basically he and uh, the Buffalo Soldiers, which was a black regiment, don't get black the Buffalo Soldiers don't get enough recognition, but they were, they were actually, more, some people may even say they did more of the work than the uh, Rough Riders, which I'm not going to get into that. But basically, they took the hill, it was a major victory, and Spain was like, damn, it's all over. Yeah, so on uh, August 13th, okay, August 13th, 1898. Uh, Spain surrendered because they just didn't want to do it anymore. Now, of course, the war just didn't end there. It didn't end until actually December 1898. America got uh, basically Guam, the Philippines, Cuba. They got they got a lot of stuff. You know, I'm kind of not gonna lie. So the Spanish literally lost all their ships and pretty much, yeah was not great, and the Spanish got $20 million, so they can probably go buy some Xboxes and PlayStation and just play crappy Call of Duty World War II on there, I don't know. So, obviously this war was not really a deadly war, I guess you could say. The death toll in total was like 1,300, which is a lot, and obviously that was only combat. Like, disease just wrecked the uh, Americans and Spanish, because, you know, century, tech, you know, hospital stuff wasn't as great as it is. Like, if you got a scratch on your leg, whoopsie daisy, time to cut it off. Yeah, it's probably a dummy. So the war cost $250 million for the U.S., which is around eight, like, I think it's like, hold on. Here, hold on, I'm going to do something. Here's some paper under here. Yeah, so that was about six, seven, uh, $7.69 million. Don't ask how I did that. I wrote it down, actually, and there's, like, a sticky note right here. Um, yeah, so that's not important. Uh, there were 29 major battles in the war. I don't know why that's important. I just, I basically went on this website, which I don't remember the name. It was, like, this weird thing that had, yeah, and I basically just took, did a bunch of weird facts. And, obviously, yeah, the U.S. won. It basically paved the way for America becoming a world superpower. Oh, yeah. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for, uh, watching this video. <sighs> yeah, I'm kind of sad. But, no, there, uh, it was really just a, a bunch of naval battle. Also, one battle that I forgot to mention, which I'm sorry, was the Battle of Santi, Santi Cuba, which... It was a major, you know, naval battle, kind of like 19th century Midway. Obviously, America won, and that's kind of when Spain was like, crap, we gotta surrender. That was, it was before 
Sam on Hill, I'm sorry, and also, yeah, so I'm, I'm sorry about that, okay? You guys can bash me in the comments, I don't care. So, yeah, it was a very uh, short war, actually. One of America's, I think, I don't, he was like in the government, called it a splendid little war, which, yeah, I guess you could describe it as that. Okay, see you guys tomorrow or something. Yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.